Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video here in Pasty. Just getting it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Today we're going to be playing back in 1995. We're taking a quick look at about 15 gameplay and checking it out for the first time. Get opinions, get thoughts, get the idea of the what the gameplay is like, and if the actual gameplay is fun, we could a lot more of this very very soon. As long as you guys, let's jump straight into the gameplay and get it the game and make sure I'm good and grand. let's rock and roll right back in 1995 what were we, what were you doing in 1995 I know what I was doing in 1995 um 1995 I would have actually been god I would have been in school I would have actually been doing my key threes and they weren't even called key seeds threes at that point it was just the first three years ago throw, throw the warped quote out warped so many options of so back in 1985 what would be what would mean the big thing for me in 95 probably would have just been grunge you know what it would have been it would have been the mortal Kombat movie i think 95 96 was that it i think it was around about then so we all have a language and crt effect and we can turn that off uh crt effects are lovely but they're awful for actually like seeing on a on a stream screen you turn that our pixelation is absolutely fine as it is. Those what is it? Dank out. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. We're on a disc and loading. Why are we still loading? Oh my. Oh, the warped. That, um, that's the name of the death of team. Publishers by Retallica Games. This was obviously provided by the publishers. Uh, the Retallica have been very, very generous. Each time we're talking. Um, I actually enjoyed it. Nearly every single game. Some of the earlier ones were very, very yeah, Commander Keen, early, like late 80s, early 90s kind of gameplay. Gotten strengths just to make sense. Dark and Brutal, Dark and 1995. Keen, Dark. Are you still there? Yes, I am still here. It took a very long time about booting it up. So that's the tower. Okay. Guess I'll make my way there. Good, because otherwise we'll be doing nothing. Here I am again in this forgotten place. Much time has since I don't know. All this time I've been trying to move on, but as much as I try, it just feels like that tower. There comes. Ooh! Oh, holy shit! It. Oh, yes, tank controls. Oh, baby. Um, it definitely has uh, early days of Lone in the Dark. Pink colors? Of course, I'm going to take some pink. Make that shit up right now. I imagine this would have probably looked a little bit cleaner on um, CRT mode, but I can't say I just like it. Silent Hill vibes. Getting Silent Hill, Alone in the Dark. Harry Mason, your face. What the hell is that? No idea. Whatever it is, I am not going anywhere near it until I have a weapon of some sort. Oh, shit! He is on the AC unit on the roof. Right. So hang on. Back up the stairs in. There's a clue. So literally I'm gonna go back to the room I was just in. <laughs> Why not? Yep, standard standard situation for these games. If you don't know where things are, you need to find all the tips. And there was a key. Button. Building to that tower, where I can finish things, and even though I don't know what the things are that I need to finish, I'm actually find it. I'm finding it difficult to use the analog pad for this because of the way the character moves. So I'm actually better with that on it. <sighs> it's definitely a throwback to the for the original Resident Evils and Sound Hills and stuff. Oh shit! Get the fuck out of my way! 
You have one voice message. Ow! And enter the dream world. You are dead. Ah, oh, so you finally come to. Where am I? Michael Kane, why are you here? I woke up lying on a man who calls himself GP said he took care of me. I passed out on him. Those are his children. How I got to them. Where I saw? Says they just showed up one day and started attacking him. Oh, stay away from the roof. Says it's pretty bad up there. Why he's barking at I told him I wanted to go to the tower. Things were. GP says that all the buildings in the which were used by survivors to stand each other. Fortunately, the wires seemed to be down. If he looked at me, for now, go to the roof and check on the. Let's. I've been. Fine, let's look at the AC unit a third time! Like I said earlier, head to the roof and check on the outdoor AC unit. Once, I was in Burn. Take a left as soon as you're out on the roof. It'll be in the very back. Yeah, that's where I got the key to get find you. you. need a weapon, grab that wrench next to the bed. Good. Give me that goddamn wrench. Hi, wrench! Boom! Woo! Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. That's a hard wrench for us. Game. Now we don't have to worry about it. I'm completely losing our little bit of progress. So we're on the 50th floor. Yeah. Interesting. Um, do we literally need to climb all 50 floors back down again? Everything is pretty much out. All options lead to stairs. So we're gonna go back up again. And leave the bathroom. Go back up again and check out the AC. Sure, let's do so. Um Wow. Wait, I, what? Oh uh, this feels like it's a different building. Is it different it feels like a different building than we were just at, or this everything's changed a little bit. That's what it takes. Right now we know. Now we know. One. Two. Three. Boom. Is the AC on? I'll do it. Time to go back to the dock. Time to get the audio levels to be a little bit better. So noisy. I don't need to fight you guys. Uh, it's back to the ammo stuck there and it didn't feel right. <laughs> Look at. Oh, you slow turning bastard. <laughs> These things track you though? That's gonna be interesting. But uh, unless I actually go through a door, they can follow me in. That's it. Go back to the dog. Door seems broken. Ends? It's here. Yes, it is. Great. Now I can take a slash.
observed at the given time. Monsters are coming forward. I need to know, Doc. You all done? You all done? Yes. Ah, got one more task for you. Your gopher boy? I thought I was wrong. Maybe hit me. I need these documents. And I'm way too old to go get them. And all apologetic. Documents? I'm like this? Went on. Go left once you've on the roof. Be the emergency stairwell. Use it and you should be able to get in for floors. Hey. Airs in this floor were blocked by. Probably to keep them on. Which means it's not safe down there. I asked the old man, are those documents really that important? He just nodded it. I have no choice. Well, they were going down the stairs. Back pedal out of this door. Pedal out of this. Take the goddamn stair. I, I can forth kind of stuff like this. <laughs> kind of cup of tea. But I mean, part and parcel of it was actually the genre of the time was to go find thing, bring it back to guy, bring thing back to guy, go back to guy again, bring back new thing for guy. Guy will give you new to tools and toys. GP is seem to be at least our point of contact and where the point. Hey there, buddy. Oh, hey there, buddy. You ain't seen me yet, but I've seen you. Go get one of these. Oh, damn. And there you go, cool, buddy. Got you. Boom! One. Two. And three strikes, you're out. Oh, shit. One. Two. And three strikes, you're out. Now. Three strikes, you're out. Oh! I thought. Th hmm. 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 So literally, you get about it's six or seven strikes. Oh God! Please tell me. Do I have to go back and do the? Like I said earlier. If <sighs> lesson learned. See you every single time. So, I backtracked and back up to the AC. Let's see how effective it is to maneuver and dodge. Now, it'd be nice to actually have some extra movement ability. Like, actually be able to dodge out of the way. Here's it there. Eh, 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 eh. Fucking weave! Alright, that'll do it. Time to go back to the dock. Painkillers are not automatically used by your character. Uh, uh, uh. They're not automatically picked up and used. Um, I thought I, I heard a crunch noise whenever I was being attacked. I'm going, "Oh, that's me using my uh, my painkillers." Yep, not a, such a thing. Just the fact that that's the sound of bones crunching from the hit. So, yay! That's right. That's right, game. You scare me again with another tiny noise thing background alteration the uh, music's moody enough um game plays like, like i said it, like it's a it feels alone in the dark silent hill and resident evil desk I, this wasn't my game type back in the day well not my game type now but not too offended by it ah Got one more problem is you can't skip you. any of these conversations, dialogues, or anything else. This is a minor. Um, I'm not gonna reread. Yep, 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 yep. I suppose most of this game is actually about avoiding combat, like only hitting the things that you need to hit until you actually have someone to take them down before they can hurt you. Here, hit save. Boom. 
Ehren. Ähm. This time I'm actually going to make it without getting killed. In fact, I may not kill a single goddamn thing until I hit the stairs. So as a first look, the game pace is reasonably slow, but I understand the gameplay very, very quickly. Um, anybody who's actually played or replayed any of the old Sand Hill such would get this immediately going, oh god, yeah, I know exactly where I'm going, I know exactly what I need to do, I know exactly who I'm going to actually listen to and who I'm going to ignore. Yep. Walking, buddy. Oh, how quick is this? Look at this. Look at this! Maneuvering! Oh! Oh! Just blitzing past these guys. Seems to be broken, so we have to go further floor down. Excuse me. So, the threats these things provide not quite um, from the other side, so we can only get it whenever I get back in and again. They just, they'll, they'll pursue you, see you, but you move faster than you do, even though you still do move the LSPS. Oh, turn. That's me into the next floor. I'm um, supposed to go, that it was going to be getting yourself back down the ground floor, but I'm going to have to go and get these papers and back to the should have escaped when I had the chance. I had no. Everyone who stayed behind is dead or dying. I probably won't last much longer. Why the hell did I come here anyway? Okay. Left your gun behind. Aim R1. Boom. That gun. Kids with guns. Kids with guns. Oh, there we go. Save point actually go as well. So they don't leave you uh, without save points too much um, because you're not going to have to worry about the whole uh, Resident Evil typewriter tape and not seeing them that often. You're going to have plenty of time to actually be played without actually losing track of where you are. Uh, so I've, even if I died now, the... <coughs> ah! Two shots kills him. I need to check, is there how many bolts do I have? That's six bolts. I'm gonna switch it. Hi branch! And my health is still at 73%. I like the menu system to be honest. It's actually not too bad. It's the fact that they actually have a record of what you were just previously doing. Which is something that I absolutely hated about playing Resident Evil at different times. You know, you lose track of where the hell am I or what the hell was I doing? Killers. Boom, that's me back up to 74. Ah, right, so... My health reset, because that seemed to actually take a lot of health off me for a single blow. That's was I... Was I actually using my pills the entire time previously? Um, 437. And that's a password for... Need to remember that one? Remember 437. Nineteen ninety-five cola. <laughs> See the fact that those two doors are so close to each other. It makes, oh, uh, four three seven. Boom. There we go. More painkillers and a note. Newspaper clip. What does it say? Dr. Randall holds solving world's energy. Dr. Randall from the UK 1K Foundation's research lab proved the existence of beings beyond the third dimension. He also said the following about her next research. The latest data suggests that our world was only two dimensions. Just recently, will turn into four. Concepts like recently and hereafter exist on a time axis that is unrecognizable by us. We once lived in a 2D world. Now we're in a 3D world. Now we have to deal with fourth dimensional d beings. No written. 
Up sales this month, Sam Miles, Jake Old, Jensen O'Field. The winner will receive a pay bonus. I.e., these were probably the people who supported this on Kickstarter. <laughs> Names appear in video game. You're one of the employees. That's it's 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 a standard thing. Right, uh, so we're going up, and then I'm assuming we're coming back out again. Um, on the next floor, because we had she could only come out that way. We'll lead us. Shit, what the fuck is that? Okay, different creatures. I'm not going anywhere near you. Try a different. Storage room. Importance. Four. Four. So I mean, each room is going to have part of the code, is it? Well, why not? <laughs> uh, don't. Get your boxy shoulders, lad. Earn. Or. Well, can't do anything about that. The other side, I imagine. Textures warp on this is actually kind of like mildly perturbing. That key. And open those. Open in the copier. Can I do my buttocks? Yeah, why not? Alright. I suppose we'll switch to gun for these guys. Right, so you have to actually... Hmm, interesting. So you have to actually use up the six bullets. You can't reload midway, so you'd be wasting bullets, I suppose. Give me a better view. There we go. I'm gonna come near these things. They don't appear to actually want to attack me as it is. Oh, shit! Ah! Ow! Damn you, third dimensional shadow! Use up all my pills. This is the paperwork I was looking for. There's a note on the desk. I wonder what it says. Kill me. The following employees must claim their assessment reports from HR. Ann Bilker, Jake Old, and Sam Miles, thank you for your cooperation. Thank you very much for providing us on our Kickstarter. <laughs> I'm taking the piss, but that's quite... Like, I actually like that as something to actually include for anybody who does do that as a well. the name in. Piece of paperwork, in the background is never too big of a deal. Um, oh, shit. Good. One shot kill. I can open up this. Four. Uh, I, I, you could you could brute force that, but I'm not going to brute force it. I'm going to actually go and find. Ah! Don't need to kill that one. Oh shit! Oh shit! Right. Well, that felt a little bit more gratifying. I didn't feel like I got killed that one time. Actually, you get yourself lined up for it. Boom. Wait. Hang on. Boom. Wait. Ah! No! Oh. Right. And turn to you. I turn to you. Like a sticky hand out of the floor. 
I turn to you, and I cannot judge the distance. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, right. Turned. Can't do anything from here. There is literally nothing in this room. Why did I? The problem of a game that you actually don't know the layout of the levels. Um, a wasted trip. <laughs> Ow! The fucker. It wasn't an instant kill like thing from um another world. Um, there is literally nothing in here. What was the point of this room? Nothing there except for the waste your bullet. Well, I had the key for it at least. Good start. Then go back to that uh, door and unlock it once I had the rest of the code. But I think four was the only key that I have. Oh, wait. There we go. So, wait. Did I. Did I find this stuff that I needed? Okay, um, maybe we'll just drop this for because essentially uh, I ran into the simplest of errors where I'm sure I was meant to have the piece of paper by now. I'm sure I shouldn't be going back up to the dock and we may come back to this at a later time just for the fact of the creepiness of back in 1995. So my quick thoughts uh, on 1995, uh, literally this game plays exactly like uh, Alone in the Dark, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, any of those from its particular era. It's a throwback to a period of time and a type of controls that might frustrate the hell out of a lot of you. But its pace and its mood seems to be exactly on par. It seems to actually have like, it's, it's nailing what was very early PSX era uh, horror or very early or survival even on PC. Alone in the Dark might have been a 3DO thing. I don't remember if it was actually, that's one of the earliest stages of one. But um, yeah, check this out. Make sure you actually take like, a look at back in 1995, published by Retallic Games, and from throw the crumpled code away, <laughs> or throw the uh, whatever it was. <laughs> like the, their name is actually a little bit odd, but it's easy to find if you look up back in. Tell me underneath what you were actually doing back in 1995 yourself. I would like to know because uh, some of you weren't alive, which is the weirdest thing whenever I actually realize these videos, or a good portion of you weren't actually alive. What were your parents doing in 1995? Go and ask them. Tell me in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video game. Bye.